Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at the WASI Integrated Science Practical Questions on Electronics. So without further ado, delay, let's begin. Now for WASI students, their Integrated Science paper always comes with a practical section where they have to answer some compulsory practical questions. Now we want to look at one of these practical questions that came on electronics uh, for was it June 2019 and this is the question number three so we have figure one shows the symbols of six electronic components labeled a b c d e and f as we can see in the diagram below we have to study the figure carefully and answer the questions that follow so we have the electronic components a over here b over here c d e and f and also we have some parts of the electrical components labeled i which is the one in blue over here i i i i i i and then i v or roman numeral four so the a aspect of the question demands that we identify each of the components whose symbols are labeled a to f the b says name each of the terminals labeled I, 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 up to IV. And then C states that we are to state one function of each of the components whose symbols are labeled A, B, C, D, and E. All right, so let's proceed to look at the solution to this particular problem. Now you can pause the video and draw the electrical component or symbols that you see over here and label the parts so that once I move on to the next page to write the solutions, you can follow along with um, what I am doing because I have the question here on the paper. All right, so let's move on to look at the solution to the first aspect of the question, which says that we have to identify each component whose symbols are labeled A to F. So let's look at that. Okay, so for A, the electrical component A use a bigger screen so the electrical component a is what we call a diode d i o d e or someone can say a rectifier diode a rectifier diode it's the same thing b is what we call led led which also stands for the light emitting diode light emitting emitting diode the C the electrical component C is what we call a transistor so electrical component C is called a transistor D is called a capacitor a capacitor e is what we called an inductor or someone can say an induction coil an induction coil or someone can also say solenoid Or another name is called choke okay and then the F one of the most common uh, symbols in electronics is what we call the resistor okay so that is uh this answers the a aspect of the question which says that we are to identify each of the components whose symbols are labeled a to F all right now the B aspect of the question says we have to name each of the terminals labeled I, 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 and IV. Now, if we go back to the question, we can see that we have the terminal over here, the, the, where we have the I over here. This side, we have uh, the right-hand side of this symbol named I, I. Over here, we have the left side of the symbol named I, I, I. And then we have the right side uh, to the bottom named iv 
right so that is what we are supposed to find now for uh, for the diode the parts that we labeled i is what we are calling the anode this is the anode or the positive side of this particular diode then for the b uh, this the ii aspect where uh the opposite of the anode is what we are calling the cathode so the this place is called the cathode or the negative terminal cathode or the negative now the iii over here of c which is the transistor the iii is what we call the base so this is what we call the base so the name of this side is what we call the base and then the iv aspect over here is what we call the emitter the emitter okay so this answers this part of the question so let me uh, do that over here so for here we are saying that i is what we are calling the anode anode or the positive terminal of the diode the ii is what we are calling the cathode or the negative terminal of the light emitting diode the iii is what we are calling the base of the transistor and then the iv is what we are calling the emitter of the transistor the emitter of the transistor all right so let's proceed to look at let's proceed to look at um, the c aspect of this particular problem now the c is saying that we are to state one function of each of the components whose symbols are labeled a b c d and e so it means only f is not included so we have to name the function or give the function of the diode the light emitting diode the transistor the capacitor and then the inductor so let's go ahead and look at that so for a which is the diode <clears throat> it is used to convert alternating current which is ac current into direct current which is dc so we use it to convert convert AC current AC current to DC DC current so that is the use of the diode now for the light emitting diode which is the LED which is the B it shows the presence of current or emits light so it's either so the most common one is it emits light okay which shows that there is the presence of current flowing through this particular diode now for C which is the transistor the use of the transistor is it serves as a switch so we use it as a switch on an electrical component okay so it is used as a switch or it can also be used for amplification of signals so we have amplification ampli amplification amplification of signals okay so for the d which is the capacitor it is used to store electrical charges so we use it to store electrical electrical charges that is uh, what we use at the capacitor for and then the E, which is the inductor, we use it to generate a magnetic field. So we use it to to generate to generate a magnetic field. Magnetic field. So thank you so much for watching. This is the solution to the practical uh, this practical question that came in. Uh, 2019 or 2019 for the wasi integrated science practical question this is actually the question number three so the question is very simple you have to identify just the 
uh, electrical component or the electronic component and then name the part of the component that have been labeled i to iv and also give the uses of this basic uh, electrical component so we said that a is a diode or a rectifier diode the b is a light emitting diode so it always comes with two arrow pointing away from it so if you look at the diagram over here we can see the two arrows pointing away from it and then the terminal where the two arrows are pointing away from from it that is what we call the cathode or the negative terminal of that particular component and then the c is what we call a transistor okay and then the d is a capacitor two lines in the middle with a straight line joining from left and right and then we have E, which is an inductor or an induction coil, or someone can say a solenoid. And then the F is the symbol for a resistor. So we said that the, the I aspect of the diode, which is the left-hand side of it, is the anode or the positive side. The II aspect of the LED or the light-emitting diode is the cathode or the negative aspect. And then the left side of the transistor where we saw um so let's go back so um the terminal over here where we have the i i i is what we are calling the b's and then where we have the small arrow pointing downwards where we have the iv is what we are calling the emitter of this particular um inductor or the induction core sorry of that particular uh transistor now the uses of uh a, B, C, D, and E are given over here. So the diode is used to convert alternating current to direct current. The B, the light emitting diode, emits light or shows the presence of current, right? So it shows the presence of electrical current by emitting light. So if you see the light comes on when you have this diode or the light emitting diode, you know that there is current flowing through. So that is it function, it gives light. The C aspect, which is a transistor, serves as a switch or sometimes it, it is used for amplification of signals. The D, which is the capacitor, we use to store electrical charges. And then the E, uh, which is an inductor or an induction coil or a solenoid, is used to generate a magnetic field in an electrical circuit or an electrical component so thank you so much for watching we'll be having more practical questions and answers um, over here on this channel so we'll be looking at all the science practical questions and answers from density all the way to the end of your test book so thank you so much once again for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye